Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, November 2nd, and today I am going to be doing a vlog slash full day of eating for y'all. It is about 9.20 this morning, and I am actually about to walk into urgent care. So y'all may know by the end of my Ketober videos, I was not feeling well. I've had this sore throat that's lingering around. It won't go away. It's miserable and I've heeded everyone's advice to go to the doctor. So I am here at Urgent Care. I have an appointment at 9.30. Let's go see what the doctor has to say. Wow, I look a little bit rough. I didn't really get dressed up for this doctor extravaganza but they just did all the like vitals and everything and now I'm waiting to see the doctor, I guess. They did a strep test to see if that's positive. That wasn't fun, but I'm just sitting here waiting to see the doctor. Hey guys, I just got home from the doctor a little while ago, but first off, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, which is Casetify. We will be talking about them here in just a little while because I think I am going to go pick up the new iPhone today, which I'm so excited about. So, woo! I am very excited. I do not have strep throat. Woo! So exciting. But I do have some like inflammation in my throat and she called in a steroid for me. I need to run to CVS here in just a little while to pick that up. I have a phone call here in exactly 30 minutes where I might be talking about some merch that may be coming soon. Ooh. <laughs> we shall see. But yeah, so today is going to be a great day. It is Friday, so it's a great day. And yeah, let's get this day started. ferocious beast you're a ferocious beast yeah you got him you got him you got that guy that was cleaning the grill you got him so good it is so sunny out here so bear with me for having squinty eyes but oh my golly it is a be beautiful day and someone just crashed right there they just got rear-ended well then Thankfully, it looks like those people are okay. It looks like someone just didn't stop in time and rear-ended them at the red light. But I am out here walking Mr. Bo, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the beautiful weather we're having today. But I wanted to make sure he got out and got a good walk in because here in just a little while, I'm gonna go run some errands. I need to go pick up my medicine at CVS. I think I'm gonna go buy a new phone, woohoo! So it's going to be an exciting day. And then I just had an awesome phone call about a little project I'm working on. So y'all get excited about that. But time to go keep on walking this puppuccino. What you doing, bud? Oh yeah, eat that grass. Yum. You ready to go on a walk? Come on, buddy, come on. I am about to head out to go run a couple of errands but I just got on the computer to see if my prescription at CVS was ready and it somehow got sent to Sun Valley, California. I don't know what happened there, but I guess I'll have to go run by CVS and figure out if they can transfer it here. And then I'm gonna go get a new phone, but first I am brewing myself up a pot of coffee because it's one o'clock. I haven't had anything but some water today, so I'm gonna make some coffee and I may pick up something while I'm out and about. I don't know, we don't have much to eat in the refrigerator right now, so maybe I'll pick up a salad or something while I'm out running around. I haven't had coffee in a couple of days now, so I'm actually really looking forward to this cup of coffee some heavy cream. I just love to watch the little swirls come up like that. Anyone else love that as much as me because it's my favorite thing. And then just a couple of drops of stevia to sweeten it just a smidge. And my coffee is ready to go. Mmm. Currently at T-Mobile getting a new phone. 
So exciting. Do you just ever have one of those days where you spend a lot of money? Because that's me today. So I went to CVS to pick up my medicine, but I had a 20% off coupon and I was like, we need some hand soap. So I bought some hand soap, which was like $3. But then I saw that they had lashes, buy two, get one free. So I ended up stocking up on my favorite little drugstore lashes. These are by Ardell and they're the Ardell Wispies. These are super great if you haven't worn eyelashes a lot. You don't want a super dramatic look, but you do want a little bit of wispy lash. These are great. And then I also got some faux mink as well. So buy two, get one free. Bought that. And then I also bought some rose all day oil free face serum to put on underneath my makeup the name got me and i bought it did i need it no i don't know guys but i'm just on a roll today and then i went straight from cvs over to the t-mobile store where i just bought me a new iphone xs max and i'm so excited my work is on my computer and my phone, so having good technology is actually very vital to me because I spend a lot of time on my phone. I take videos on my phone, I take pictures on my phone. And so I had to spend the money and upgrade to the iPhone XS Max, which I'm so excited about. When we go home, we're going to do a case to iPhone case unboxing and I'm so excited and I got this phone right here and it scares me because it's naked right now without a case oh so scary but yeah so I got me a phone and I don't know how to use it yet but I'm gonna go pick up my medicine back at CVS not spend any more money and yeah that's that's the plan that's the plan Stan and then I still haven't had any food today so I don't know about that. I gotta figure that one out too. All right, let's go pick up my medicine. I just turned around from my computer to the absolute most adorable thing ever. The little puppuccino is just sitting here loving on his bear. What a sweetheart, oh my gosh. It is currently 3.18 and I am literally just having my first food of the day. I had that coffee earlier, but this is the first food. Like I said earlier, we really have nothing in our fridge and this is what I'm going to do for my first meal. I have stuff for dinner tonight, but I don't really have any smaller meal type of food. My first meal is just some of this English cheddar, some pepperonis, some kosher dill sandwich thins, and I'm probably gonna eat a couple of these pumpkin seeds. Very simple, little snacky first meal, but since it's three o'clock I figure it won't be that long until we actually start prepping dinner it's about four o'clock now and Cody wants to get an early start on dinner I'm hungry he's hungry I'm glad I didn't eat very much for my first meal of the day for dinner tonight we are making bacon wrapped chicken bombs and I think they're gonna be delicious so let me show you what we're using to make these and Cody's shaking his butt shake your butt again Shake your booty, shake your booty, oh yeah. Oh. I love cheese. He's shaking his butt because he's eating cheese. First, you're going to need chicken, and I bought these chicken breast cutlets, so they're like thin sliced chicken breasts, and that just took out the work for me. A little bit more expensive, but totally worth it that I don't have to cut these up. And then I have some bacon. I thawed two packages. I don't think it's going to take two, but we needed to use these up. A block of cream cheese, a couple of jalapenos, and Cody just shredded up. Really, you set it on the counter. He just shredded up some of this Tillamook extra sharp cheddar cheese. And I think those are all the ingredients. So basically, we're going to use these chicken breast cutlets have these jalapenos, stuff them with some cheddar, some cream cheese, and wrap it up into like a little thingy majig, and, and then wrap the entire thing in bacon and then throw it on the grill. So I bet this is going to be really good because I don't think that can taste bad with all of these ingredients. 
Mmm. Over here, we have Cody working on the jalapenos. I picked up five because I wasn't sure how many little chicken breast cutlets were in here, but I figured that would give me about 10 halves and that would be perfect. So he is cleaning out the ribs and the seeds, making sure they are all clean inside because the seeds contain the spice. And so that is what he is working on. And then over here, I have a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And in this bowl, I have about five to six ounces of cream cheese. I'm basically going to throw this in the microwave for about 30 seconds, let it soften up and then add in the cheddar cheese. And so we'll have a cheese mixture to stuff the jalapenos with. I warmed up my cream cheese so it's nice and soft. And now I'm just going to add in my shredded cheddar cheese. And now I am just going to mix the two together. And there you have it. This is the filling that we are going to stuff into these halved jalapenos. Well, there was only four chicken cutlets in that $13 package, so I pretty much wasted my money, but I at least don't have to do the work of cutting them in half because I'm lazy. Highly suggest you cutting your own chicken breast because it's a lot cheaper. Yeah, because we bought two chicken breasts for $13. Yeah. Leave the cat. Woo! Call that one. All right, so next all we're gonna do is take the jalapeno poppers, chicken, and uh, just I roll them up into this little chicken bomb type of ordeal. Just roll them up as tight as you can. There you go. And then we'll wrap it in bacon. We have Cody wrapping about two slices of bacon around each little chicken bomb and then we are securing it with two toothpicks just to keep the bacon on when we're on the grill. Here is the chicken bombs and the leftover jalapenos that we had. I just stuffed them with all the cream cheese mixture and these are ready to go on the grill. I'm excited, these have gotta taste so good. Bo, are you looking for any scraps on the ground? I can promise you there aren't any. Good try though. All right, so what I'm gonna do with these chicken breasts today is that I have one side of my grill really hot and I actually have the other side off. So I'm gonna sear each side for about five minutes and then I'm gonna stick it over on that side and let it slowly finish cooking until it is done. That's about it. Cool. Let's put them on the grill. Bo is watching every piece very carefully. Checking the temperature to see the internal temp and these definitely still have a ways to cook. These are definitely not the prettiest jalapeno poppers but we usually cook these in the oven versus on the grill. But they sh still should taste good. Bo wouldn't mind eating them, right? Mm-hmm. Cody just cooked up these chicken bombs. They aren't as beautiful as they were before they went on the grill. They had a little mishap, but they're gonna taste good anyways. With those, I am going to throw together this Caesar salad. This is just a little Caesar salad kit. It's just the lettuce, croutons, Caesar dressing, and Parmesan cheese. We just throw out the croutons and it's good to go. Super easy and delicious. And dinner is served. This is gonna be so good. This is our Caesar salad. Cody made it while I ran to the car. But my chicken bomb is not the prettiest, but it does have the crispiest bacon. So that's what I chose. Our dinner we had a little while ago was so good. After we finished making dinner, I made some keto shortbread cookies. If you haven't checked out that recipe, I posted it yesterday and you should go watch it and give it a thumbs up because these are so, so good. So good. I have to tell myself to stop eating them. But I have just been sipping on a ton of water today because my throat still hurts. 
the steroid that the doctor gave me I started taking it earlier today and it is making me feel better which is great my throat is not on fire like it has been the past two or three days I actually feel like I can swallow and talk without being in extreme pain so it's so great it feels so good but i'm just kind of laying low for a couple of days not really doing like any intense exercise because this little whole feeling bad thing has been lingering for far too long so laying low trying to get rid of this because i can't deal with it any longer when the people over at Casetify heard i would be picking up the new iphone xs max they asked if they could send over a package for me to try. I was pretty pumped. This nicely wrapped box of goodies is what showed up at my door. If you don't already know, Casetify makes very high quality cases for virtually any device. They make cases for iPhones, Androids, iPads, and even MacBooks. They combine impact resistance and fashion to have your device protected but look cool at the same time. Casetify cases are two times military grade and they are drop proof up to 6.6 .6 feet. But check out this one they sent me with my name on it. So cute and pretty strong. Love it so much. But my favorites have to be these two cute floral designs that they sent me because I love flowers and these are so adorable i can't believe it oh my golly okay guys i hope that y'all enjoyed learning a little bit about casetify when they reached out to me and asked if they could send me a couple of phone cases i was so excited let me tell you what their cases are not like normal cases so these are extremely sturdy they are military grade material and this case is supposed to protect your phone from a drop of 6.6 .6 feet that's like a foot and a half taller than me. That is crazy. But oh my golly, can we talk about how cute this is? I absolutely love this flowery case. It goes super well with the gold phone that I got. And oh, I'm just in love. If you are interested in giving Casetify a try and maybe picking up one of these awesome phone cases, click the link down here in the description box. And even if you're not in the market for a phone case, click on it and scroll through because I can guarantee by the time you finish scrolling, you're going to want to buy a new phone case because they're so cute. In addition, they have also offered me a promo code. So when you click that link down below, you can use this code right here. So it's Catherine M I C H 15. It's right here. It's down there. Go check it out and see if you're interested in getting a new case. Well, guys, it is the ripe hour of 1 a.m. in the morning, which is why I look a little bit frazzled. But it is time for me and this nugget who hates my love to go to bed. And I guess Cody too. <laughs> Anyways. We have had a great day. I'm feeling better. I got a new phone, got some awesome phone cases, and had some delicious food and made some delicious cookies. So I'd say today was a pretty darn good day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mwah. Mm-hmm.